ഹീലിംഗ് If among you anyone troubled with the family life bring all the troubles before the lord now the power of the god is prevailing all over if possible please stand up and join together this with this music team let us pray let us praise together hallelujah hallelujah unto the king eternal unto the reigning king fire unto the lord almighty praises i will sing to the king eternal glory, sing glory. to the king of kings sing to declare his glory let his praises ring i will lift my hands in joy before my king i lift my hands in praise i lift my Jesus. heart in joyful jubilation i lift my voice in praise oh jesus and i will shout blessing to the king and i will shout glory to the king and i will shout honor to the king and i will shout power bring blessing and glory and oh. honor and power belong to Jesus the king of kings unto the king eternal unto the reigning king unto the lord almighty praises i will sing to the king eternal sing to the king of kings sing to declare his glory let his praise ring my hands in joy before my king i lift my hands in praise i lift my heart in joyful jubilation i lift my voice in praise and i will shout blessing to the king and i will shout glory to the king and i will shout honor to the king and i will shout power to the book of exodus chapter 20 verse 24 now every place where i cause my name to be remembered i will come to you and bless you oh heavenly father bless all your children john chapter 6 verse 44 unless the father draws him no one can come to me oh heavenly father 
all those who hear this words are drawn by you we believe oh father john chapter 6 verse 45 it is written in the prophets they shall be taught by god and everyone who heard and learned from the father comes to me we believe the work of the holy spirit we believe the works of the heaven that is why we all are gathered here together thank you father make it a new experience for us if anybody is troubling with a hard hearted mind help them to have a new heart holy mary pray for us saint joseph pray for us glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah take your seat please my dear friends today we are going to think about do you ever consult with your god most of us are not aware of these things usually what we do we think for some time and what appears to us better um, good we will follow that way or what the majority follow we follow we follow that way but it is not the way for a child of god the book of proverbs chapter 16 verse 1 there it is written like this the plans of the mind belong to mortals but the answer of the tongue is from the lord the plans are many for human mind but decision belongs to the lord decision comes from the lord we can plan many things we can think and we can make many plans but decision comes from the lord but we never care we never bothered about that proverbs chapter 16 verse 25 if we are not caring about the plan of god sometime it may hit our life proverbs chapter 16 verse 25 says sometime it may it may end up with death let us hear from the bible sometimes there is a way that seems to be right but in the end it is the way to death hallelujah hallelujah usually what we do we do what it appears to right for me we follow what it appears uh, what uh, what it uh, uh, seems to be good for us we follow that but the word of god does not agree with that proverbs chapter 19 verse 21 again word of god says you have to you have to put your mind before lord to know his will to know what he thinks about this 1921 the human mind may devise many plans but it is the purpose of the lord that will be established hallelujah hallelujah our forefathers gave much importance to consult with their god in the book of samuel second samuel chapter 5 verses 17 to 25 there we see david who used who was very 
very eager to consult with god let us read from the bible second samuel chapter 5 verses 17 to 25 when the philistines heard that david had been anointed king over israel all the philistines went up in search of david but david heard about it and went down to the stronghold philistines and israelites were hostile they were enemies on that days so now philistines want to attack the people of god philistines want to attack david okay continue now the philistines had come and spread out in the valley of rephaim hallelujah hallelujah when the enemies spread around david was not scared he was not frightened what did he do he went straight away to his god he sat before god and he asked let us hear once more that david inquired of the lord Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you give them into my hand? The Lord said to David, Go up, for I will certainly give the Philistines into your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we sincerely consult with our God, our God will give an answer to our question. Our God will reveal his mind. about that thing about that project david went to his god and asked him lord do you wish to wish me to go for a battle the lord answered him that is what we see here okay continue so david came to baal perazim and david defeated them there he said the lord has burst forth against my enemies before me like a bursting flood hallelujah hallelujah today many of us are facing failures defeat in our life in many of the our workplace why in our life we don't go to god to know his will we never care what is the will of our lord we are simply doing and doing things after one after another we are doing things and uh, going around we are always busy we have no time to sit before our god so after all the attempts after all the struggles we feel bad depressed tensed financially in crisis but for a child of god it should not be like that that is the will of god again they would want to see god in another crisis now we continue the reading the philistines abandoned their idols there and david and his men carried them away once again the philistines came up and were spread out in the valley of rephaim in the life of a child of god there will be problems there will be enemies but we have to deal with them in consultation with our god when david inquired of the lord he said you shall not go up go around to their rear and come upon them opposite the balsam trees when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees then be on the alert for then the lord has gone out before you to strike down the army of the philistines david did just as the lord had commanded him and he struck down the philistines from geba all the way to gezer Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A mighty victory. Lord gave to David. Why? Because he did 
according to the counsel of the lord our lord gives david instruction up to the minute details to which way he ought to walk to which way his army to march everything minute details were revealed to david and david was very happy to obey the inspirations which was given him by god praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah my dear friends we are not at all serious about this matter we are not at all care we we don't care about this i don't care this is our lifestyle i don't care what we must care because book of isaiah chapter 31 verse 1 says like this if you do not care about this it will bring disaster to your life book of isaiah chapter 31 verse 1 Alas for those who go down to Egypt for help and who rely on horses who trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but do not look to the holy one of Israel or consult the Lord It is a shame for you to consult with God to go to the church to attend the spiritual affairs my dear friends where we put our trust in when crisis come we always see what the majority says what other people are doing what government say what my brothers and sisters my cousins say we have to take it serious to consult with our god otherwise it will bring disaster to our life 31 verse 1 gives us a warning alas to those who go down to egypt for help depending men depending the worldly setup we have to turn our heart to our god let us hear once more Alas for those who go down to Egypt for help and who rely on horses who trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong we have enough and more horses and chariots to depend but you see when things turn around it all will disappear and you will become helpless isaiah chapter 31 verse 3 the egyptians are human and not god their horses are flesh and not spirit when the lord stretches out his hand the helper will stumble and the one helped will fall and they will all perish together Hallelujah. 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 Now let us pray to God. Pray to Holy Spirit to give us a new heart which takes pleasure in consulting with God. If we take consultation with God, God is ready to give his directions. Ages and ages in the time of our forefathers he guided thousands and thousands he is able to guide us also he is powerful enough to give us directions give us consultation he is powerful enough put your trust in your lord oh holy spirit we went astray we are going hither and thither we are going all around but we never care our god we never give enough importance to the voice of our lord oh holy spirit come to us 
teach us instruct us to search the will of god hallelujah hallelujah of the living god for the fresh on me pray all together spirit of the so many times we failed before you but you are very trustworthy towards us you always kept us you hold us fast to you and you always protected us thank you jesus many times we didn't come to you to consult with you we always went astray in our own ways now jesus we want to consult with you whenever we are going for a new endeavor now we surrender our all life to you our all all possession we bring before you jesus help us to live with you hallelujah hallelujah i surrender all jesus i surrender I surrender before you Lord I surrender you Lord to the my blessed savior I surrender all I surrender all. I surrender all I surrender all. I surrender all Lord to the my Jesus. 
Jesus at times we are very proud we bring before you our pride our ego our self righteousness we are sinners in so many ways we bring all our ego all our pride i surrender all what is not good before you come jesus heal me cleanse me lord jesus and i surrender all jesus and i surrender all jesus benediction please bring all your pain all your sorrows all your tears in your spiritual life in our spiritual life we have our own burdens our own tears bring all of them i surrender it i surrender before you lord all my tears once again let us pray with a deep deep faith And I surrender all I surrender all All to thee my blessed Savior I surrender all O sacrament most holy O sacrament Thanksgiving 